So I think what I'm going to do next is this lighter color that he's got right here. Um, so that, that, that requires a color change. So I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to go to Other, and I'm going to select Color Change. Um, and the lighter color, I believe it's this one. We can change that later if not. Uh, down here at the bottom, you show it, it'll always pull in the, the top use colors, so you can you can select um, you know matching colors. Again, they're going to be inverted when I place them down. Uh, I'm going to left mouse click right there, and I'm going to make my lockdown again, which is a star, kind of like we did at the beginning of this design. Again, the lockdown is when you start a new color, um, it, it locks the thread down. That way, you don't just start your machine real fast, and then it pulls the thread out. Come over. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put my underlay. Uh, underlay is just something flat, just trying to make a flat surface. Something you know. There's so many different ways to do underlay, as you'll learn through these tutorials. And I'm going to come over here and put a little underlay in here too. Uh, I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm going to hold down Shift, holding down Shift as I as I move my mouse. Um, and I'm going to start by doing this fill right here. I'm going to right mouse click. Fill and then fill. Now this time, I'm not going to do any overthrow because I already have this first color I put. So I, I don't want to overthrow it. I want to line it up because that's going to go on top of the color and there's no other colors going on top of it. But over here in this beard, for example, and through that ear, I'm overthrowing. Out here, I'm lining it right up. And right out the shirt, I'm overthrowing a little bit. Um, okay, and I'm going to hit, hit escape. All escape does is cancel the tool. And zoom out here, drag it, push B for background, S for stitches.